I am disclosing on the record of the council proceedings that I am teaching my two-year-old daughter to swim and participating in children's activities with her at the 92nd Street Y. I helped found the 72nd Street Neighbor Association as an elected official and I'm an ex officio board member of the Friends of the East River Esplanade as well as the Sutton Park Conservancy, all of which are funded in the budget we are adopting. Permission to explain my vote. Permission granted. Time Coronavirus has claimed the lives of over 21,000 New Yorkers, magnified systemic racism, and it blown a $9 billion hole in our city's budget. The mayor's proposed budget left NYPD budget largely intact while zeroing out services for youth, families, and seniors, a budget that would rather invest in policing our children than caring for them. Our budget has grown by $24 billion under this administration, and we've missed an opportunity to trip more than $15 billion in fat before eliminating jobs and essential services. We should cut billions in corporate welfare that goes to a handful of our nation's wealthiest corporations. When we heard George Floyd plead, I can't breathe, he was, and he was murdered by police, it opened the unhealed wounds left in our city from the murder of Eric Garner. New Yorkers took to the streets in the name of Black Lives Matter to demand that we defund NYPD by $1 billion to invest in communities harmed by over-policing. Since then, we've received over 125,000 emails and thousands of calls. Frankly, I've never seen anything like it. As a person benefiting from white privilege, it is my responsibility to use that privilege to empower New Yorkers from all communities, particularly voices of color, Black voices, and listen when they demand that we defund NYPD. As a member of a council that made the mistake of adding 1,300 police officers and increasing the NYPD budget by a billion dollars, it is our responsibility to right that wrong. When the Black, Latino, and Asian caucus members led our body in a bold statement with Speaker Johnson supporting cuts of at least a billion dollars this year, the Progressive Caucus, which I co-chair, stood in solidarity. The cuts we are voting on today depend on half a billion dollar transfer of school safety agents from the NYPD to public school budget. That seems like an accounting trick. I joined the speaker and so many of my colleagues in the budget negotiating team who fought so hard and their disappointment in a budget uh -huh. that fails to achieve our initial proposal. This is not a transformative change the NYPD and New Yorkers are demanding. I vote no on the budget and vote yes on all other matters.